Well, welcome to the museum. Um, we've got a demonstration on another way that you can make fuel from water. It's a very simple method. That's what impresses me so much about it. It's, it's a simple way to go about it. It doesn't take a lot of sophisticated equipment to do this. this you can use uh, any voltage source that's between 30 and 50 volts. I've got three garden batteries, uh, garden tractor type batteries that are in series, so that's 36 volts. Um, you could use a small arc welder uh, as your power source. Uh, you could use a battery charger if you've got a substantial battery charger that would put out, uh, you know, like uh, for an industrial type battery charger, puts out 36 volts, would also work. You take the voltage and you bring it up to two carbon rods. The carbon rods are immersed in water. I've got an inverted funnel and when the arc strikes it creates this fuel. Now a lot of people confuse this with electrolysis. You will actually have a little bit of electrolysis until I get to the point where I strike the arc. Um, but that's not where the fuel really comes from and that's not what makes this fuel special. The carbon is part of the process in forming the fuel. The 10,000 degree arc reacts with the water, disassociates it into its components which are mostly hydrogen and carbon monoxide. Now carbon monoxide when you say that that kind of scares people they think well that's poisonous it's going to hurt you. But that's in the fuel before it's burned and that's one of the things that makes this fuel so special is it's actually providing a lot of its own oxygen in the combustion process from that carbon monoxide. Once the combustion is taken place then what's left over as a byproduct is excess oxygen. So this is actually one of the cleanest hydrocarbon fuels when it's burned that we know of. Um, Matter of fact, you could start a car on this fuel and let it run in here forever and it would only just add more oxygen to the room. If we did that with a normal car, we'd be dead in a short time from carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, if you had a furnace that operated on this, you wouldn't even need a flue. You could just let the excess oxygen go into the house and enrich the, uh, the atmosphere of the home. I'm going to have to get my arc adjusted though. That's the hardest part about this is getting the arc adjusted. Anybody with just a, a minimum amount of uh, technical expertise and just a few simple components can prove to themselves that this works and make their own fuel anytime they want to make it. So we appreciate you coming and visiting with us and uh, hope this has been informative.